a decisive step in a relentless offensive against the final rebel strongholds in the northwestern Syrian province of Idlib. On Thursday, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights and some residents of the town of Qalat al madiq said the town had been captured by Syrian government forces. Qalat al madiq was the closest opposition area to the Russian Hmaymim Air Base, which has been crucial to the recent government offensive against rebel-held areas. The province of Idlib, as well as some territory around it, is mostly held by the jihadist Tahrir al-Sham group, which was previously known as the al-Nusra Front. The region is also home to three million people, which has raised concern of a massacre as forces continue their advance. Another bloody day for southern Idlib and northern Hama. Thirteen days of continuous bombing targeting most villages in the area. Our volunteers pulled bodies of nine civilians who were killed today so far, including two children and a woman. Last year, negotiations between Russia and Turkey ended with a deal that created a demilitarized zone from which jihadists were required to withdraw. Turkey was tasked with finding a solution to the problem, but little has changed in recent months. Syria and Russia have now decided to act in order to recover all rebel-held areas. NGOs are concerned, however, that troops are deliberately targeting civilians, including schools and hospitals. Thirteen health facilities have been hit by bombing in recent days, and the fighting has caused 150,000 civilians to flee their homes. The UN Security Council will hold an emergency meeting on Friday to address the situation.